the way the procedure works is typically we would normally go through the chest um, and put you, the patient on a heart and lung machine uh, and stop the heart to replace the aortic valve. With this procedure, we can go up through the groin, through a vessel that goes back to the heart, um, and deliver the valve into the aortic position or uh, where the aortic valve normally sits. We push the old valve out of the way and place a new valve um, in its place. This offers a lot of advantages over uh, a standard surgical technique in the sense that it allows patients to get back to their normal routines faster um, and more easily. The TAVR procedure um, is done as a team, of, uh, a team of people. It involves a surgeon and an interventional cardiologist. Um, Dr. Sani and myself uh, perform the procedure in a hybrid room um, that allows us to be able to capture both the abilities of the cardiac catheterization lab and the surgical operating room. A typical day for a TAVR patient is that they would show up in the pre-procedural waiting area get prepped, meet the anesthesiologist. They then come to the procedure room where we put them under sedation. Um, once they're sedated then uh, and the lines are in, Dr. Shafi and myself work to get the valve into the correct position under uh, fluoroscopy or x-ray guidance. Um, we take pictures, we do some measurements, we decide where we like the valve. We have a whole team from both the operating room and, and the cardiac cath lab present. And, and when we're all in agreement that we like the position of the valve, we deploy it. So the TAVR procedure is, designed, um, is a procedure that's designed for us to, uh, to allow us to treat patients who would normally not be candidates for open surgical procedures. Uh, it treats a very common disease that affects many, many Americans that includes aortic stenosis. Um, when patients have aortic stenosis, they have difficulty breathing, get tired very often, and, um, and, and fatigue. I feel patients should have their TAVR procedure done at Dominican first and foremost because we've had excellent results. We've assembled an excellent heart team with Dr. Shafi, who's been doing these procedures for many years. Uh, myself, who've been doing complex coronary interventions for many years. Uh, and really a whole team that involves the cardiac cath lab and the surgical teams all really hybrid together for this procedure. Um, secondarily, the, the TAVR patient is usually older, sicker, frailer, and, and, and by definition has been turned down or, or declined standard surgery by one if not more than one surgeon. And for those patients to drive over the 17 repeatedly for evaluations and finally the procedure and then come back for recovery is very hard. So we think that by offering this locally, by being able to take care of our neighbors and our friends, um, we really are, are adding to the quality of care here in Santa Cruz County.